Hey everybody, it's T1. Come back to another video. And if you forgot for y'all today's, I'm gonna be talking about Lonzo Ball and why the Los Angeles Lakers should keep him. The reason why I've decided to choose this topic and why the Los Angeles Lakers should keep Lonzo Ball is because of the Anthony Davis trading going around. And I did see a video that I posted by I forgot his name. I would put his like Thing on the screen youtube youtuber he posted like alice caruso so like i'm posting this about lonzo because they might end up trading lonzo so i'm coming up with facts <laughs> are you gonna see a pop-up thing say get to the point and get to the point right now okay okay now last year in the los angeles lakers not the los angeles lakers but the lonzo ball he was scoring he played only 65 62 games actually shot 36 36 percent from the field goal 20 he shot 295 threes and he had a 30 percent from the three-point line so he had 370 success 88 steals 43 box 136 turnovers and 528 points now what he did average in the 2017-2018 season was okay for basketball reference i can't find the points average but okay but his free throw percentage was 45 percent that wasn't that good but the one thing that lonzo do it, it doesn't show up in the box scores like let's say we're gonna come back to the year 2018-2019 this year season or this season uh he played 47 games he from the field goal his field goal percentage was 40 percent which is more likely bad Lonzo Ball attempted uh, 228 threes, which was a little bit less than last year, and made 75, 75 of them. His three point percentage is 32 percent, and from the and from free throw line, he actually got 41 percent, which was bad. But he's average. But he had like 255 assists, 69 steals, 19 blocks, 103 turnovers, and 465 points. Now you might say, "Come on, his stats went down," but that was because he played five less games than what he played last year. Plus, him fighting minutes with uh, Rajon Rondo. But the things that Lonzo Ball do doesn't show up in the box score. Now, when I say that, it's playing defense, being able to find, like, like see LeBron up court or to see, like, like he's there to pass the ball. Now, he will pass the ball. And, okay, now what happened to us per 36 minutes. So, he's, in this year, this season, he's averaging 12 points. Or when he was playing, he was averaging 12 points. He was shooting 32% from the three-point line, 40, wait, 40, yeah, 41% from the free throw line, and he had a 40% field goal percentage. Now that's actually good in my eyes. If you can shoot 40% and to be a point guard that really doesn't shoot that much and be your passer, I feel like that is good in my eyes. Now it might not be good in your eyes. Now in the per hundred possessions what he had this year, he shot. 40% from the field goal, 32% from the three-point line, and 41% from the free throw line. Now, that's his per 100 possessions. Now, his advanced stats, his advanced stats, you know, he's shooting 50% from the three-point line, which is, this, but this is the advanced stats, so y'all should, y'all should already know what the advanced stats are going to say, but guys... Getting into the real point of this, Lonzo Ball does things that never shows up in the box scores. His passing is a one. Him making little reads for his teammates, even when he played against the Nuggets, we believe he went for a layup, and the Jamal. All right, bros, I'm messing up. Sorry, guys. Uh, the point guard for Denver Nuggets. So he was driving the ball up court, and Lonzo Ball stole it and went for an easy dunk. Now, that's really good by Lonzo Ball. He's able to get you steals night in and night out. He's not just a player that just sits there. Not He's always active on defense. And that's really my argument why the Los Angeles Lakers should keep Lonzo Ball and trade him for Anthony Davis. I feel like Kyle Kuzma and Lonzo Ball should be untouchable. Now, Brandon Ingram, he did have like a little stat at the end of the season, but that's not going 
that's not going to carry on to the next season. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, y'all can leave a like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, we subscribe. But guys, it's TB1, and I'll catch you guys soon. Hey, one second, I'm making my playoff pres predictions probably to, yeah, tomorrow. I'm doing the Western Conference, then I'm doing the Eastern Conference, so make sure to look out for the video, but it's TB1, I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.